as you can see this is a hurt finger and uh, if you have a question in your mind that where am I and what I'm doing why, why I'm not making videos it's because I'm working and uh, in order to have food in my on my table and to stay alive I also need to work and uh, I have been working in uh, like uh, construction and uh, well it is everyday work continuous work and uh, that's what I was doing uh, but today luckily uh, today it's the 8th of November and right now the time is 3 and 17 so uh, I was so tired meanwhile like I, 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 I had to take a break in order for my uh, injury to recover so I'm making a video right now I am uh, entering the uh, Amudara part of Heraklion city which technically is uh, the municipality of Ghazi and uh, I will be taking you for uh, to a place where uh, if you are into climbing and somewhat hiking uh, you're going to like it you're going to enjoy this place and uh, it's like mostly for those who are willing to visit Crete and Heraklion in this season in winter time uh, it's a interesting place this area once again in the right uh, you will see let's wash this is like a place where you can wash your car and, and in the left side you will find supermarkets Calaviniti's like the, their car is coming they have also a delivery service as well so uh, yeah on my way I will be showing you uh, Amudara what's going on you will both see uh, if there are any tourists still in Amudara and uh, like if the shops are open or not and if you are uh, asking me about the weather how is the weather right now in Crete it's like mostly the days are like partly, partly cloudy uh, kind of hazy uh, it's been like a week uh, not raining but uh, yeah I also noticed some people going to the beach in this weather it's like a moderately warm weather officially we are in uh, Amudara right side what you see here this is like a Canadea Maris it's a big resort hotel I don't know SPA and uh, lots of other fantasy services kind of place yeah so this is that we have in the left side uh, a pharmacy where you can buy the things that you need and also now you can do this uh, rapid uh, test for which is valid for 48 hours in uh, pharmacies yeah and uh, also the rules are getting stricter uh, once again uh, uh, like uh, it's, uh, it's 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 now any place with a closed area and, uh, people without uh, mask is not allowed to enter yeah and I think there is a big penalty for the businesses 
if they find somebody not being vaccinated and uh, being in the closed, considered closed area, restaurant or coffee shop, I think it's 5,000 euros. Yeah, and uh, we can see that it's like uh, getting empty, Amudara. I haven't noticed so far. Yeah, there you go. We have two tourists in the right side. Some of the shops are open, like these in the left, these gift shops are open uh, in front of this resort. Yes, and uh, there's some jewelry shop in the left, they are also open as well. What we have here, no time to die, is in cinema here in the right side this is an area where they have cinema and they have like some coffee shops bar things like that yeah but uh, obviously you need uh, to be vaccinated in order to get inside the cinema and watch something and watch the movie Here in the right we have a restaurant, it's pretty famous and also liked and appreciated by locals and international tourists. But if you ask me personally, hey, would you recommend this place? Uh, honestly, uh, when I was here last time, I didn't like the food. It was it was fine it was okay but if you were exposed to something even higher uh, quality then uh, you will be like hey why I know another place which is better than this then why would I say that this is better it is good it is not bad but not like super high quality yeah but their services are good That's a personal opinion. That's my personal opinion. I could have gone the other way, but just wanted to show you a little bit of uh, different area that you can take and go to this uh, place. It's called uh, Volesmeno Aloni. Volesmeno Aloni. And uh, it's like a I should say naturally formed uh, like a hole I hope everything is fine no, no other vehicles are coming Okay, I don't hear any other vehicles coming from my from the back. So yeah, 
Okay, let's go and see what's going on. I can see the smoke from the right side going to the air. But that's not where we are headed, we are going left. possible for that vehicle to pass from here so yeah that's I hope everything is all right should have been taking in first place the other road yeah i don't i don't know well no comments so far because it is it sounds like a accident and a tragic moment fire is never a good thing and me without like just knowing anything i don't want to uh, comment but as a human being uh, I always feel uh, sorry for if some something like that would happen. Okay, so the vehicle will come from here. From the front to get there. fire is back behind me yeah. I hope they are not lost again it's there or maybe they already found how to get there yeah they probably have found already okay so if we all feel not good uh, about natural disasters and about accidents but as human beings we are very uh, limited and we are vulnerable and we can't do anything but just express our emotions feelings towards such uh, happenings this is the uh, club of Ofi it's like Ofi is a very famous uh, football club in Crete they are they have very good players and uh, they are also known uh, nationally and internationally by many uh, sport lovers and this is the club here so they train and they live and they do all sorts of activities in this area But we are still going to discover uh, a climbing uh, area which is not too far from the center of Heraklion. Even if you are staying in uh, Ritimno or if you are staying in uh, Khania, Ayos Nikolaos or in uh, places like Malia, Shirsonisos, you still can come to this place and you can do your climbing. In the past, I have noticed some. I have noticed uh, that uh, some professional climbers have been climbing this area, and some other local uh, climbers also coming to this place to practice. And uh, if you are in amateur amateur uh, level, uh, 
mediocre or professional this place uh, really will give you the option to, to perform your or, or practice your climbing uh, uh, scales I have a stop but we are good to go Once you visit Crete, believe me, you would you will be willing to visit it again. And when you visit it twice, you will be willing to visit it three times. And finally, you will be like <laughs> considering moving to Crete because it is that uh, amazing and that beautiful. And like it's like it's such a magical island. getting close to this village which is called Tilisos and another place it is called Arolitos uh, like, I think it was like a wedding uh, club and then I don't know if it is still accepting weddings but uh, it was a wedding club and now they have turned it into a hotel where you can stay it's, it can be a good option that if you would stay here then you can easily start your morning and early in the morning to go to the hiking places and uh, like going to Siluritis it's like not highly recommended option but it's like kind of a little bit out of the city uh, uh, kind of provides a bit calmer atmosphere and closer to the nature the sorrow it was this in the right along this road 
many times I have been speaking about uh, making a video out of this whole uh, road. It will be quite a adventurous journey to get to Redimno by taking this uh, old national road, which uh, hopefully soon I'm gonna attend to do it. So, but for now we will go to the Volesmeno Aloni and uh, show you that place. Even if you are not to climbing, uh, it's really worth it to uh, come here and just see. This is like a natural uh, thing uh, appeared uh, on the face of earth. <laughs> And if you are still watching the video and if you are with me and you appreciate my work and uh, you appreciate the channel uh, please uh, go ahead and uh, you can uh, like sub <laughs> go ahead and uh, oh. <laughs> this part is a little bit difficult for me to say each time you can support the channel by uh, supporting me in patreon account and also I will leave uh, a direct link to my PayPal account you can do it that way and uh, that's gonna help me making more videos and, and uh, continue the journey yeah I really wish to fly the drone here to, to get some shots but I don't see any uh, areas where I can find myself comfortable and safe to stop and then fly the drone besides it's difficult to if once I fly the drone then uh, it will be difficult for me to find another uh, stop point to catch the drone so that's why I will avoid flying the drone here but when we are at the location then I'm gonna fly the drone to show you the place with the drone as well and I have been thinking about storing a series of videos to discover and, and to show you the ways of the beaches and the places that you can visit uh, next summer uh, please let me know in the comments uh, what what are the places that you are interested and in, what are the beaches that you want to see also you can follow me in, uh, in Instagram and just send me your favorite place in, in Instagram and uh, uh, I will put it in the to-do list and I will consider making video about it yeah. here we go there you go we are uh, uh, we have arrived to the Volesmeno Aloni. I'm gonna park here. The car nicely. Such a quiet day, not so windy, and you will always be able to hear the sheep uh, walking and this bill that they have, and it's kind of relaxing. Okay, 
So hey, here you can read the name. It's called Volesmeno Aloni. You can search this also in Google right now after watching the video to read furthermore. And in the picture you can see some people are here. Yeah. Uh, Volesmeno Aloni means at the threshing threshing floor in a depression but this is not what the area really is the structure represents a, a karstic depression the line that was formed after the collapse of a cave uh, this word i cannot read sailing which uh, was thinned enough by karstic Ero erosion to become unstable and to collapse to clap finally under its own weight the circular shape of the dole uh, I don't I cannot read this again lit local name is the threshing the threshing floor the cave was developed in the uh, carbonate rocks of Tripulitsa, Tripulitsa unit as part of an extended cave system which is also connected with Almiros spring spring in uh, the line has in several places where steep almost vertical sides of several uh, tens of mat meters in height the monument is unique for Crete but also for Greece and can be easily visited through a well paved trail by all visitors ww Psiluritis nature natural park dot gr <laughs> and that's how I read English <laughs> also other languages <laughs> I'm not so good in reading but I can practice <laughs> anyways I'm more uh, like about spirituality and about like uh, uh, poetry <laughs> yeah anyways uh, we are here in Volesmeno Aloni and hide uh, and like and hit the like button if you like this video and uh, let me know in the comment section about my english reading <laughs> english reading scales and uh, subscribe if you aren't already because uh, we will be making more videos like this okay so the like bigger perspective i will give you with the drone but with the camera i will show you the the key inside but first let's go to show you a little bit of uh, a little bit of this what 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 they have built here for you if you want to like sit drink a coffee have a chat and then just uh, enjoy yourself and your time it's a very nicely built pad uh, made out of uh, rocks i have been working in such construction to make houses and, and walls out of these uh, rocks yeah so you can see uh, this project like uh, yeah there is a small little kind of garden and there is a path that you can walk and you can just walk around it from there and there is something there is a construction like there is a possibility where there were toilets i think but it's unfinished i mean it's really worth it sometime to visit places like this which is completely uh, underrated but they are high quality and they are not so much branded by touristic companies and uh, one of the main reason why you should be uh, following me and my channel 
it's because I will be showing you places like this that you can just uh, come and visit and have a good time yes it seems like a, uh, they started this project to, to build a toilet here but it never uh, came to its end it's just it ended before it is uh, finished yeah so that's a sad story imagine right now if there if we had a like a uh, coffee shop in this area and those seats in this in that area uh, not just uh, climbers the people will be coming here uh, and drinking a coffee maybe ordering a cocktail or just having a good time and uh, eating a pita meanwhile uh, looking at the performance of the climbers so this area like you can see how beautiful it is it's like a it's the it's the most perfect uh, uh, shaped form for uh, climbers and uh, this uh, place already has installed climbing uh, nails and, uh, and and equipments that you can safely climb I would definitely come here if there would be an event of climbing imagine like climbers from uh, UK climbers from Germany climbers from uh, Netherlands uh, I am not sure if uh, there are too many of climbers in Netherlands because as far as I I did my research and study Netherlands is a, like a flat country but uh, 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 yeah of course there is a great possibility that they have been going to other countries and practice climbing okay but i will say like climbers from switzerland climbers from france and climbers from uh, what other countries every country uh, could uh, could create an event and and and, and like let's say if if, if Cretan authorities and 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 greek authorities would uh, put like a like a like a prize or like a medal that uh, they would invite the climbers uh, from all uh, around the europe or world and they would say if you you if you take the first place you got like five thousand euros uh, you will you will have uh, a, a free stay in Myk mykonos in in this five star resort for five days and you will be fly to i don't know santorini for two days they could create such a package that that would motivate uh, the climbers uh, like uh, uh, partially to, to to participate and what they could do they could uh, create like around this area uh, very nicely uh, fences uh, and, 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 and suitable place where the weavers and those who are uh, those who like climbing uh, they could come and visit their like their son their family their friends for uh, their uh, climber from their country to 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 provide support and it could have been like a an amazing uh, event and we could play there uh, uh, some like some music here could could have been performed while the climb is happening and and the lightning it could have been uh, performed in the night time in the daytime so uh, it's like a whole uh, it, 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 it's like it, it could have been shaped and uh, uh, could have been took to another uh, level that's what I wish that's what I always wish that things could have been gone in right way uh, in my own uh, country but because the, uh, it's not uh, possible obviously because of too much going on I wish the same thing for uh, uh, for here and uh, yeah but anyways i will stop uh, speaking a lot and i will show you this this beautiful uh, place this very very beautiful place but if you have any ideas and if if you are the type of person who can manage to 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 organize such a event 
you should you should uh, uh, get your hands on work and uh, please do it and i will cover the uh, uh, to and i will advertise <laughs> this even in my channel for you and i will do all the drone work for you yes okay so this is i think where the amateur level uh, climb will happen because you can see even i can climb this you see this oops i just uh, crashed my knee with this with this area so yeah i don't have any climbing training but you can see that there are these uh, things installed yeah so you can hang yourself there you see that i better get down before i hurt myself yeah and you see in that area this white color they put it in their hands okay so this is one part of it and if you would go like there it's getting much more challenging and difficult somebody ate uh, yogurt and left the 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 cover here it's for yogurt if you go to the Scalaviniti markets you will find yogurt filled up in this and the price will be like 140 1 euro and 40 cents <laughs> and some other person just forgot this uh, this hand cleaner uh, i'm gonna pick it up because i don't want to leave it here it's going to be like like trash yeah so this is this is it is more challenging this area roughly speaking so yeah you can see this is it seems to me it seemed to me like much more much more challenging if you would go look at this like this i'm looking at it in this position so you can imagine how difficult it would be to climb this area <sighs> and somebody forgot a whole bottle of water here I'm gonna pick this up as well, not let it. And I think <laughs> yeah. anybody who is visiting these natural parks and these uh, natural areas, they should be willing to support the clean nature. Yeah, we gotta keep our nature clean. And this beautiful. It's a beautiful picture. I'm gonna take a picture and, and see how beautiful picture you can take here if you would come here. Isn't it amazing? It is really, really beautiful. I'm gonna take another picture. Yeah. Uh, again, if you have any thoughts, uh, any 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 ideas, please let me know. And if you already inspired and pumped to visit this place, then please let me know. Yeah. And if you are coming to climb this area and you are a climber, uh, let me know. Uh, there is uh, my Instagram link in my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I can come and I can clap for you <laughs> yeah and I can see how you climb this and I can shoot you with the drone and then uh, that's going to be fun yeah wow and this is the another place so this is another path 
that you can possibly climb and you can go up and also there are like more possibilities and opportunities that you can play with and it's it has never been climbed and you can start your own path here so i don't know that much about climbing but uh, the possibilities uh, are limitless you can just uh, really have a good time and also you can just uh, uh, you can have a new experience as well yeah and, and how beautiful the scenery is here look at this look at this beautiful beautiful existence on the face of earth it just doesn't fit the eyes it fits the soul as well when you see this beauty and me what i can do with you because i am less of a climber more of a hiker i can go to that place uh, with you i have been uh, climbing that area many times i will link the video uh, when i climb uh, to that place in the description you can watch that and if you are a hiker you can go and hike that place and there are more hiking possibilities which i will be uh, experiencing myself and doing it myself in the future yes okay so i hope uh, you like this video if you did uh, please don't forget to hit the like button and also if you uh, want to support the channel please uh, go ahead and uh, 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 support me in patreon and i will also leave a link of my paypal account in the description you can do it that way and uh, uh, if you have any thoughts please let me know and if you are already, already subscribed to the channel consider subscribing and sharing your thoughts in the comment section with me and uh, 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 i will fly the drone to show you this whole area and this whole scenery with the drone and uh, other than that until the next time peace